Heights Multicars Auto Collective. We're going video for you today showing our latest cars coming in stock. We've got a really lovely little Kia Picanto VR7. VR7 is very desirable trim level. It's definitely one of the ones that you want to have. There's a lot of these in the market, which are the basic spec, don't come with very many uh, many options. But this car does have some lovely, lovely kit to it. So I'll tell you more about that and just give you a bit of a tour of the tour of the car. See how it's how it's looking. The first thing I'll say is the wheels do not look great right now. These cars are renowned for the diamond cut uh, lacquer going on them, as you can see. So we're going to get those wheels redone for you, but um, the car's literally just uh, just arrived to us with us today. So we'll get some get some pictures, get it up for sale. But um, we are going to be getting these wheels looked at. Okay, we'll get them done just a single colour because the diamond cuts never last. Aside from that, of course, it's a really, really lovely car. As you can see, it's nice and clean. There's no nasty damage at all. Any car, especially a car that's um, a few years old, got the odd small marks, of course. But can't, that can't be helped on any car, but um, as you can see, it is really, really nice and honest. You can't really... That, that does look really nice. So, VR7 spec, there's a few little styling extras as well as the rear parking sensors. So you can see this car built into the plastic bit on the rear bumper. Very nice twin chrome exhaust. Nice little red accenting around that grille there. very windy today so excuse the noise if you can hear that. So moving on to the interior, really nice and tidy. To be honest, the car was presented to us in um, really great condition. None of, none of our cars are bought from auctions so we buy them all, all privately which means we have a chance to check out the cars, give them a test drive, make sure they are the real deal before we buy them for our stock. And this car, really just honest, Nice and clean, family car. It's actually got one less owner than it um, has on paper as well. Obviously the, uh, the previous owner went to change the lockbook, um, changing the surname and accidentally added another owner to it. So I'll show you the boot quickly. and clean, well looked after. Up again, so you see we've got some steering wheel controls here, which is, shut the door, which is very nice. Very nice to have fun controls here because it does, it does indeed have Bluetooth. And as you can see, air conditioning as well. I gave that a quick blast on the drive back in this car and it, uh, yeah, it works as it should. 12 volt, aux, USB. These little cup holders down here, so you press that and then a little, little bit spins around. And you can fold it away and you've got a nice big storage space down there. There's a bit more storage in the centre part. So there's nice big size door bins. You can get a large water bottle in there quite easily. So let's get the keys. So as you can see, we've got two keys for the car. Always nice. So there you can see the mileage. So we've got just under 62,000 right now. And check out the MPG. It was even higher than that before um, I had it parked uh, running for a little bit, so it dropped down. But yeah, 60 plus MPG seems quite uh, quite easy in this car, to be honest. Free road tax as well 
which is obviously fantastic to have. And um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the service history. The so service history is obviously very important when you're buying a used car. You want to make sure that uh, a car's got good history, had plenty of oil changes, and this car certainly has. We're going to get it um, booked in for a fresh service and a health check as well. Let's start it up and then you can have a listen to the car. So it runs nice and smooth, the clutch feels good. Couldn't really fault um, driving it. So if you can even hear it, it's not a loud engine, of course. But it runs really nice. Like I said, I couldn't really fault driving it. It was about um, 50, 60 miles. Drove the car back. Yeah, it was lovely. Couldn't fault it. But of course, as we do with all our cars, it'll be going in for a health check just to make sure everything is all well on it before it moves on to its new owner. So that's all for this car. Uh, we're based just between Kingsland and Wisbeach. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. And of course, if you want to arrange an appointment to come and see it as well. We do operate appointment only, so if you do want to come and view the car to have a test drive, please do get in contact and let me know. So, thank you very much for watching.